First Anglo-Mysore War. From 1734 to 1766, Mysore was under Krishnara Awodhya II. His commander-in-chiefs dominated his reign and among them, Hyderali came to prominence from 1760 onwards. When Krishnara died, Hyderali became the de facto ruler of Mysore in 1763, though Nanjara was placed on the throne of Mysore as nominal head. The Mysore had territorial threats from both the Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. In 1758, Hyderali was able to successfully drive out Marathas from Bangalore where they had laid a siege. But the Marathas were dominant and kept raiding Mysore territories at their will. But before Hyder could become the ruler of Mysore, he had to overcome a conspiracy by Queen Mother of Mysore and one Kanda Rao. He cleverly overcame this conspiracy and captured an imprisoned Kandara and took over Shri Rang Patnam. After that he tried to overrun the territories of Marathas but got defeated. In 1761, in the Battle of Punipat, the Marathas got defeated and due to this they drew their forces from Mysore. Hyder Ali was able to increase his influence after this battle. The British were conscious of rising power of Hyder Ali but they had no immediate reasons to become enemy of Hyder. The immediate reason of the rivalry was the access to the northern Circars, which was a series of coastal territories held by French. The Hyderabad Nizam was a French protégé, who rejected the demand of Robert Clive for access to this area. But, Robert Clive took his application to Mughal Emperor Shalam II who in 1765 issued a decree granting the rights of that territory to Clive. Now after getting a firman from the boss, British began occupying the northern Circars, the Nizam objected. But the Nizam was too poor to fight a battle with the British. He sent letters to the Madras Presidency for a settlement. As per terms of this settlement, he gave the company four of the five Circars for a payment of Rs. 7 lakh in Nizam's endeavors. The British also provided Nizam, two battalions of the troops. Now Nizam was getting ready to get Mysore from Hyder Ali. The Marathas also joined the Nizam in this alliance against Hyder Ali. The war started when Marathas attacked Mysore in 1766. But Hyder Ali made peace with Marathas paying them 35 lakh rupees. Half amount was paid immediately and for rest Kola was kept with Marathas for security. Now after Marathas returned, Nizam attacked Mysore with the assistance of British. But even before the war could be concluded, the Nizam changed the side and came towards Hyder Ali. The British forces could not retaliate and retreated to Trichinopoli under Col. Smith. Later Colonel Wood joined the British army and amid confusion, Hyder Ali retreated from the battle. Now the British threatened to attack Hyderabad. This brought the Nizam to their knees and sign a treaty in 1768. As per the terms of this treaty, Nizam agreed to abide by the treaty signed with British in context with the Northern Circars. Hyder Ali was regarded as usurper and refused to acknowledge him as ruler of Mysore. Nizam agreed to help the British to punish Hyder Ali. The important aspect of this treaty was that Nizam agreed to give the British Diwani rights of Mysore when Hyder Ali was ousted and Mysore is won by him. Hyder Ali was left with no allies, but he was brave due to his solid financial position, partially. The British force was sent to punish Hyder Ali, but it got defeated by this brave commander. The result was the Treaty of Madras. This Treaty of Madras was signed in April 1769 and it maintained the status quo. As per the Treaty of Madras, both the parties returned the areas won by each other. The district of Arcot was given to Nawab of Arcot. British and Hyder Ali promised that they would support each other if there is any foreign invasion. Hyder Ali believed that as per the terms of this treaty, British would come to help in if there is a conflict with the Marathas. So, he started demanding tributes from the small estates on the border of Maratha and Mysore. The Marathas responded this in 1770 with a force of over 30,000. Hyder Ali requested the British to help. 
but British did not turn up. The result was that all the territories of Haida were confiscated by the Marathas. Haida again begged the British for the help, but the British placed some conditions which were not acceptable to him. The result was that Haida requested for peace with Marathas. In return for the peace, he paid 36 lakh rupees to Marathas and 14 lakh rupees as annual tribute. After this event, Hyder Ali remained an enemy of the British throughout his life. Later, he came to know that his nominal ruler Nanjara Air was having a secret communication with the Marathas. So he executed him and placed Chamraru as nominal head. However, soon after that the Marathas came under mutual dissension and this gave Hyder an opportunity to claim back all he had lost.